I am taking two packets of henna because I am going to make it for two person or it depends on your hair length and adding two tablespoons of coffee you might be wondering why I am adding coffee but trust me it reduced the reddish color of henna cause I personally don't like the actual reddish color of henna and I'm just gonna use warm blend water and mix it thoroughly and nicely and we'll leave it for overnight adding few drops of lemon juice to keep my scalp clean and to get rid of dandruff Make sure your hair is clean and comb your hair. I am making a section to my hair with the help of a clip and start applying the henna by taking a small section of the hair. Henna not only keeps your hair silky, shiny and smooth but it also works as a deep condition to our hair which is very beneficial for hair. I have grey hair and applying chemicals hair color has done a lot of damage to my hair so I prefer henna to cover my grey hair as well as it works as a natural condition to my hair. It not only deep condition my hair but it makes my hair manageable as well as smooth. I have been using this method from the past 6 months and trust me, it works wonders. Many people don't like the smell of henna. I know, I personally don't like the smell of henna, but I promise you that by following the method that I am showing you, you won't get the smell of henna after washing your hair. So just keep watching how I am doing the procedure. I'm gonna leave the henna for an hour and I'll get back to you after I wash my hair. I already washed my hair with just plain normal water. On first wash, no shampoo, no conditioner if you want a good result on your hair. Now that my hair is already dry and I'm gonna oil my hair with coconut oil and leave it for overnight and tomorrow morning I'm gonna shampoo and condition my hair and I'll show you the result how it comes out. Now I am back after I wash my hair and you can see that my hair is shiny, silky and smooth. If you want a good result, use it once or twice a month. <music> 